will see, we, we don't know. Yeah. How can we compare it to we saw? We haven't been there in Moscow. But did you see it? See it on TV? Oh, yes. Yeah. Saw, saw it on TV, yes. And we saw some prints on asphalt, on roads in Moscow. That was the отвлекали от дорожного движения. Any questions? Is anybody have a question? No. This time uh, we have 39 countries. Who is your favorite, except yourself? Except yourself. <laughs> Who do you like the most? We have a music special specialist one in our group. Uh, I like Aisha from uh, Latvia. Latvia. And uh, pretty girl from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Who do you like? The same. The same? <laughs> we are the group. You speak as a group. You speak as a group. <laughs> what country do you think will vote for you? I don't, I, I don't think that there will be whole countries that are voting for us. Some people from different countries. It's very hard to, hard to see. It's so hard to say that we will not say it. <laughs> um, Moldova, they were here, as I said, they were through a quiz about Norway. Are you ready, guys? They, they made four out of five. Okay. Okay. The name of the capital of Norway Oslo. is... Oslo. Oh, that was fast. How many times has Norway won the Eurovision Song Contest? How many times? I think... Three! Three! Oh, you got some help over there. Are you from Russia as well? <laughs> okay. okay. Name one of the winners. Alexander Rybak. Okay. <laughs> How many people live in Norway? I think uh, about 20 million. <laughs> oh, oh, 5 million, sorry. <laughs> no, you said 20 million. <laughs> 20 minutes. Uh, 5 million. <laughs> I think we say approximately 5 or 4.7 million. Do we have a monarchy or president? President. No. no. Monarchy. We yeah, have a king. We have a king. <laughs> okay, we got, we got four more questions. The name of the um, Norwegian Prime Minister. Oh. Um, Ulf Larsson. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> I voted for him. <laughs> group that had a hit called Take On Me. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Do you know the song? Of course. Can you sing it? <laughs> Take on me. <laughs> Take me on. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, name one popular Norwegian football player. Football player, football player. Two, three minutes, okay? Go for us. So scared. So sure. Yeah, so sure. Yeah, so sure. That's very good. Uh, and the last one. What countries do Norway have a border to? Uh, with, uh, with Sweden and Finland and Denmark. Russia. Uh, Russia. Oh, Russia. 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 No, Denmark, just uh, Russia, Finland and Sweden. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. That's 7 out of 10. Very good. Russia. Do we have any more questions before we have the photo moment? Yeah, we got Australia again. He's very curious. I have a, a different question this time. Alistair Birch, Australian Radio. Um, you... A lot of bands have problems with fans uh, downloading their music using MP3 and sharing. Uh, you seem to have a different opinion. Can you maybe tell us a bit about it? Um, uh, you know, when we were uh, not popular at all, uh, younger, <laughs> uh, uh, years ago, uh, we, uh, we posted our uh, MP3 files, music uh, for free, of course, on our site, three years, four years ago. And then when we became a bit popular, we decided to leave this tradition, to, uh, not to leave, but to continue, keep, keep this tradition. 
Uh, and uh, and to, to, uh, we are we still uh, posting our uh, albums, our music for free in MP3 files with high bitrate on our sites. And we think it's uh, not only uh, uh, not only uh, charm, not only charming, uh, but also uh, also it's very rational because um, it's um, very nice if you want to hear something, you just go on the site and listen to the music. And there is no uh, some barriers for you, and uh, that is why I think uh, the uh, the selling uh, the selling of uh, selling the selling of MP3 is not the uh, right way of uh, um, development of music industry of music selling industry in the world. I think they would be uh, shared for free. Oh, uh, always of all the, the authors. <laughs> what will you guys do after the Eurovision? I will go to my... Uh, <coughs> oh, the same, we are, we are re recording our second album, then we will go in uh, uh, two festivals in uh, Germany and Austria. What kind of festivals? Mm, uh, Steaming festival in uh, uh, Lorch. In Germany and uh, um, near Vienna uh, in Austria, I don't remember the, the name of this festival. Um, uh, these are our plans, and some plan, of course, concerts in Moscow and other cities of Russia uh, that we uh, we planned already. And so on, and having rest, having good time, I, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> How about the album? How far have we come with it? Uh, you know, it's uh, nearly finished, uh, but um, but. Um, but we will release it not uh, earlier than autumn of this year. This year, so it will con consist of 15 songs. They will be uh, posted on our site, of course, and uh, that will be uh, a disc, a CD. So that is all that I can say about it, because <laughs> uh, the, uh, uh, the the most interesting, I hope, is the music on it. If you win the Eurovision, how do you think your life will be changed? If, if you win the contest. Ah, if I win. Uh, I think we will be more popular in uh, Europe and uh, all over the world and in Russia also. <laughs> <laughs> because many people in Russia watch, the, watch it. Maybe you some. Yeah, and I hope that nothing changes. Uh, <laughs> yes, but, but, but we still uh, are hoping that nothing will change uh, uh, in our usual life because we like our way of life. Uh, and we are trying, we are working on keeping it uh, so calm and uh, straight <laughs> as, as it was uh, many years ago. Do we have another question? It's open for the press. Do anyone speak the mother language and want to ask some questions? Someone from Russia? Товарищи россияне, запросите вопрос. We have one in the front here. You need a microphone. Evan will come to you. Здравствуйте. Афанась, я вообще-то из Греции, но ничего. Как вы... Сейчас подожди. Я знаю, как... I know how it is. To speak a foreign language. Как вам пришло прийти на Евровидение, дать вашу песню, чтобы поехать на Евровидение? Вы сразу... Вы думали много об этом или сразу захотели? По-русски можно сказать, да? Я думаю, что, конечно, ну как мы думали, вы знаете, там была смешная достаточно история. Года два назад и год назад нам задавали вопросы журналисты и спрашивали, вы бы согласились принять участие в конкурсе Евровидения? И мы такие говорили, знаете, если нас позовут, то мы, наверное, согласимся. А потом выяснилось, что надо самим подать заявку. И мы подали эту заявку. Вот. И, собственно, попали на конкурс в России, выиграли его. Ну, а как сказать, какая это была идея? Ну, идея достаточно простая. Мы э, считаем, что мы занимаемся эстрадной музыкой, а это конкурс эстрадной песни, как гласит его название. Соответственно, мы решили принять в нем участие. Собственно, такая простая идея. 